guys, it's Elisa. Today I'm going to be doing a favorites and products that I absolutely did not like for January because I figured it would be so much easier than going backtracking for the last like 60 products as I mentioned before when I said because I mentioned before that I was doing my top favorite 100 products, but some of them were limited edition, and so that would kind of not be relevant right now. So I'm just going to do a January's favorites and hate. I know a lot of you guys requested something like this because I've been doing a lot of videos on my other channel, and it's right here. And that's where I do all of my product reviews, especially like since I have so many products to review. So the very first product I'm going to talk about is my earrings from Jewel Mint. I love these. These are the steampunk hoop earrings. I've been a member of Jewel Mint for a long time, and I think the last time I talked about them there was like this cuff and I absolutely love that. And so this month, I absolutely love this one right here. It's very heavyweight, this piece down here, but the hoop is nice. It's very comfortable, and I love it. You can get this at Jewel Mint, and then there's like a 50% off code. I believe it's video, and you can get the information below. So this is my favorite pick from Jewel Mint this month. It kind of looks like... I have like long strands, but then it's really like a hoop. So that's one of my favorites this month. So let's go to something I don't like. Okay, so let's start off with, I really like Physicians Formula. It's not like I have anything against them, but this product right here was a major disappointment for me. I am going to say as far as like just not liking it. I'm not gonna say that I hate it because it is a good product. It's just that it's not doing what it says. So I paid $11.99 for this and it's the Shimmer Strips. And it comes in a package like this with brown, purple, and black. And the way they have it on the picture is that you could put this on the waterline in this beautiful purple. It's really rich and pigmented. But then when it came down to it, it didn't do anything for my eyes. And I'll show you a picture here. It looks great as like a base. It has a lot of pigmentation. But then it doesn't work on the waterline, like it says. So this is one of those products that I was really disappointed in this month. I was hoping that it would really work because it's very similar to the products that I've seen at Sephora at like a fraction of the price. So it works great as like an eyeliner and it works great as a product that you wear like as an eyeshadow base, just not on the waterline. A product that I absolutely love and I know so many of you guys have went out and bought this is the Maybelline Tattoos. They're really creamy, they're pigmented, they work great as a base. I have it on my eyes right now and then I'll have a tutorial on this look too. So there's like a bunch of different colors. I have like an official review, but they're about, I wanna say they range, but I've seen them for about $6.99 and you can get them buy one, get one half off. You can get it at Rite Aid when they have like an extra $3 off. So it's pretty much, if you see it, you should buy it. They're very similar to MAC and there's lots of different colors. I actually picked up, I think four more after my review because I was able to find it. So now I own this one right here. This is the this is the one where I switched the lids. So I don't know what color this one is here. I think this is the pomegranate one. But I, and then Tenacious Teal is really pretty. The blue one's really pretty. You can see it here. They're like a cream base. And you just spin it and close it. I don't like the sticker on top. I wish it had some sort of color so that I can see what color it is. Because I know that's not the name of it. But since I'm always like in a rush, I'll just kind of close it and not know what color it is. So if you're storing it, I recommend putting it on the back side. A product that I do not like this month is from Stila, and I'm really disappointed because the finish is amazing. This one is called the Jewel Eyeshadows. So I have pretty much every single color, and it's supposed to make your eyes like kind of sparkly and really pretty. This one right here isn't damaged, but you can see it's like a black ice, and then you put it on your color. And it gives you this nice like wet look. It's a little shimmery and sparkly. Why I don't like it is that it looks like this. Like if you're not careful, it will break. I had a couple of them shipped to me and they're broken into pieces. So I really wish that this product was like maybe in a loose form, maybe in a jar with like a sifter or just something because the way it is pressed, it's not, it's very hard to use. And then like if you use your fingers, it gets all crusted over and you've used your eyeshadow, you gotta like pack it on. It's not necessarily like a pigmented product. It's something more like an enhancer. So I'll have pictures too where you can see it on top of eyeliner because it looks really pretty. It's just, oh, it's just broken and just gets everywhere, I hate it. A product that I absolutely love and I highly recommend is this. This is the gel eyeliner from e.l.f. And this was $3. You can see my whole review below. I'll have a link, but on the back, it looks like it's really small, but it actually spouts out to something that's quite decent for $3. And I really like it. I was going to buy a whole bunch of all the other colors, but everyone told me that the black one is the best and everything else is kind of in. So I didn't want to waste my money on the other ones because it does add up. But this makes a great product for the waterline. 
oh my gosh, it just lasts forever, and it was only $3. It is on the drier side of gel liner, so it's very close to like the Makeup Forever formula versus like the other ones that are a little bit more emollient. And this is the e.l.f. one. I love it. Okay, moving on to products that I don't like. Okay, so this is from Maybelline, the Master Drama in blue and purple. The official name is Sapphire Strength and Vibrant Violet. So on the picture, it shows it's supposed to be on the waterline. It's gorgeous. Okay, I couldn't get this on the waterline for the life of me. I like barely got it on my lash line. And it's a beautiful color, you can see. They're very pretty. They appear very, very pigmented. But it doesn't go on my waterline. It just wouldn't. I was doing this. So I was so excited, I actually tried it when I was in the car when I first bought it, and I was very disappointed. So these were great as a regular eyeliner, just not on the waterline like the pictures. And so I was disappointed because that's what they advertised it as. So this product is a product that I absolutely love is the Cover FX Natural Effects. I've been using this pretty much almost all month between this and the Glam Natural. And this one right here is in M30. I have it on right now. It's a full coverage. It's very natural and it's great because you could sheer it out if you need to, but it doesn't make my skin itch and it has an SPF of 15, so I like it. It's great for sensitive skin. So this is what I have on right now. I only have a couple of other products that I don't like. The rest I absolutely love. You know, you're like, why does she love so many? because I review so many, and then the rest of them you can see on my website, like other products on prisbuzz.com, but these are just like ones that totally stood out. This next one, I was so excited, look. You guys remember MAC Shade Sticks, then, and loved it, then you're gonna love the new release, this is the spring release, from Stila, and these are called Smudge Crayon. So I have a whole review on my other channel so you can see the swatches, but they're crayons and you can just draw it on your lid, and it doesn't hurt the lid at all. There's lots of gorgeous colors. There's pinks, there's peaches, and then on the bottom, you can sharpen it if you'd like. I don't, I just kind of go with whatever it is on top. It doesn't crease, it's like lasts forever. You can use it on your eyeliner, not waterline, because it's kind of shimmery metallic, but it works as a great base and just like an all over color. And one of my favorite ones is this one right here. This is the Pink Violet. I think it's such a beautiful spring color. You can see that there. And then just put a little bit of powder, even translucent powder, and you're good to go. It's so pretty. Okay, so this is a new product. I'm not too familiar with it, but I am going to mention it because it's the end of the month, and that's when I got it. It was in January. But this is Extreme Lashes. It's a long-lasting brow pen. So this one is called Dark, and then I got one in Light. And I'll show you guys a picture, but it's like a very red color. And I was very disappointed. I actually have it on my brows and I tried to wipe it off, so that's why I have kind of a red tint to my brows. But I just thought that if it was called dark, you would think that it wouldn't be red-based. It would be a little bit more like ashy because I figured that would be more universal. So I'm going to do a little bit more research, but if you have red hair and you're looking for like a red marker brow pencil, this one's really nice. It's made in Germany, but it's like super red. It doesn't look that red here. Look at my Facebook page. It's like, but and let's see, let's see. Okay, I absolutely, I'm like obsessed with this. I'm going to do a video on all the different finishes. I know I talked about that. Okay, so this one right here is Scandinavia. This is the 10 Years Younger Makeup Finish. They just named it that. Urban Decay has one too. I think it's like Dewy. So what that means is this a little bit more moisturizing looking. Kind of gives you that dewy look versus like a dried powdered look. So I really like this one. Actually, I really like them all depending on what I need it for. There's a new one that actually takes the place of powder. I actually have it in my kit, but it's over there, so I don't want to like get it. But I really like this because it finishes every makeup. Like I was out in the sun all day on Saturday working, and we were doing this like stylist stuff. It was super fun, but my makeup was all set and ready and nice because of this product right here. Love! And then this is a product that I was using last year, but I really like it. I was using it on a whole bunch of different clients and it looked so great on deep skin tones and fair skin tones that I wanted to share it. It's from Illamasqua and it's Belladonna. You can probably still find this at Sephora, but it's this amazing matte lip gloss or like a cream lip gloss. It's so pretty. Love, 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 love. I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm just so impressed with it because it's really that bright lip that's not red and it works on like everybody. Now we're going to do a product that I don't like. So this product right here, I was so excited. I bought this from Rite Aid because I first bought two and then I got the $3 off a next purchase and then another one. So I got two of them. So I bought four of these. These are the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. And I was like, oh, it sounds so pretty. Okay. So I haven't been doing a video for like 
three, four days because I totally like broke out right here, like itchy, like little rashy things. Then I have this huge zit right here. Like I'm talking so big and so awful that when I'm like sleeping, I can't even sleep on this side. It hurts so much. Here's what I'm talking about, right? And it had to be this because I put it on. So I put this on and you have to put this on with your fingers because it doesn't really apply on with like a brush and they're very sheer, but it's got this like kind of a, a weird texture, not a bad texture, but you're just kind of like, hmm. So it starts off like this, kind of joked about it with some people on Facebook, but it starts off like this, nice rounded dome. And then once you start using it, it deflates. So we were laughing, it's like a deflated boob. But it's like, so anyway, I put it on before I left my parents' house. I came home the next day. That was the only thing I put on because I was trying it out. I came home the next morning, or I washed it, but the next morning, boom, boom. And of course it had to be that because it was in the blush area and I didn't have anything else on. And so I don't recommend these. They're not, they're not pigmented. They are kind of, I don't know, I hate that you can't use like a brush. You can only use your fingers. And it's just, it's just very weird, like, look. So I'm like, oh, that's pretty. It looks really pretty, but then it made me break out. Anything that makes me break out, I don't mess with. I just toss it or I go and return it. In this case, I'm going to return it. So if you do have it or you are interested in this for some reason, that wasn't nice. So if you are interested in it, I recommend going with the darker colors. And there's like a whole thread on my Facebook page too where all the girls and guys give like their opinion on it because it's, it's really just one of those products where I just really hate it. It's like streaky and I mean it dries really nicely but it just it just doesn't work for me I don't know what made me break out because there's other products that I can use that has talc in it it's just it could be a combination of my dirty fingers on my face or something of course they're not dirty I'm washing my hands all the time I'm like a germaphobe so I just really can't explain it this one right here is just a no-go and almost done I think this video is like forever Bobbi Brown has released new shimmer bricks. I am in love, in love, in love, in love with Bobbi Brown shimmer bricks. And these are the latest. Ah! Okay, I love them. These are rose gold and wild rose. I have wild rose on right now. I don't know how much you can tell, but I just used it as like a blush highlight because I had so much on my eyes. I didn't want like crazy cheap color. But they're so pretty. The This one here, the rose gold, is rose gold like oh my god look at my hand look at that it's such a pretty color it's very soft yet it's a very full opaque of softness if that makes any sense so this is like a really pretty highlight it looks so great with like tan skin or like just having a little bit of color right here or maybe you just want to look like polished and you want to kind of diffuse your skin a little bit then I highly recommend this one right here this is a peachy one and then if you want something a little bit darker, then I recommend this one right here. This is released right now. I think it says February 2012, but you can pick it up now. And this is Rose Gold, which is the more of a pink tone. If you are a Bobbi Brown Shimmerick fan, then you're going to like these. If you are not, I've never tried it, I recommend it. They're really nice. They're very, they're shimmery. It's not glittery. It's more like a nice highlighted sheen. It's like MAC Soft and gentle but like in different colors so that's why I'm like oh, I love it I have almost all of them except for like the brown one almost my last product this is the L'Oreal 24 infallible eyeshadow I have swatches on my website these are about $7.99 a piece and it comes in a jar like this this is funny this jar right here is actually the same kind of jar that you see when they sell like mineral makeup like those individual companies so if it looks familiar it's very, very similar. I think it's a little bit more shallow. And on one side, you can see the L'Oreal Paris. And the opening, you just take this out right here. I think it's so weird. It's almost to the point where I'm, like, laughing. It's like, it's a bathtub plug is what I think of every time I see it. And you have to close it. You've got to put this on every time to prevent drying. They're very, very pigmented. And it feels like, you guys remember Jell-O 123? No, probably not. So jelly used to have this thing where you mix it and then it made three layers. It kind of feels like that. It's like kind of foamy, kind of bouncy, kind of spongy. I don't even know. It's like, oh, you know those green foam things that you pour water and you put your plant in? It kind of feels like that. 
that you could get on Michael's and touch. But it's super pretty and smooth. You can see it right there. I have swatches on my website. And these are about $7.99. I really like them. I'm just not super blown away because I hate this plunger or this lid right here. A few years ago, Stila made a product that was like this and it dried out really, really fast and you started to see the edges. So just be very careful if you do decide to purchase this to keep it really tight. Buxom has this, I guess you'd call them like the sister store, little sister store, Bare Minerals. And they have the same type of product too. And I bought that at Sephora for like $20, I think. And I really liked them. They were purple and there was like this lime green. But it has that weird spongy texture. It's just, it's, it just has like a metal lid. So it's a little bit more secure. You don't have this silly bathtub plug. I like these, but I'm not like in love with it. I got to use it a little bit more. But I really like how it, the color payoff, it looks so pretty in photos. Like when I took pictures of swatches, like bam, bam, bam. Like I didn't have to do it a hundred times just to get the color to show up. And I think that if you like like a little bit more of the natural colors, you'll like it. There's like one color that's really bright, right? It's like a muted blue, but out of the rest of them, they're really, really natural. So another product that I absolutely, absolutely love this month that I've actually been using so many times is this. This is the Velour Lashes, and it's this one right here. It's the Doll Me Up ones. They look like doll lashes. Oh, so cute. I absolutely love it. You can get this at their website, and they're mink lashes, but I really, really like them. So to follow up on the doll eyes, there's a product that I do not like, and it's the Lancome Hypnose Doll Lashes. So I love, love, oh my god, it's my favorite, is the Lancome Hypnose Drama Lashes. But the Hypnose Doll Lashes, I don't like at all. I feel like if it's called Doll Lashes, they le better look like, like a doll, not this. This is a little bit more like too natural for me, and it's not that it's a bad mascara, I just feel like if it's called Doll Lashes, then you really got to make me look like this. So I recommend checking out my quick little review on my other channel because I actually showed the application so you can see it. But I really feel like it's not doll lashes. It's more just like everyday soft lashes. So the Lancome Hypnos one, I'm kind of, mmm. But there is a lash mascara that I think is amazing. It's the Maybelline one, Lash Discovery, and it makes my lashes like this. So I really recommend that one. And that is it. That is my January's hit and misses. Don't forget to check out the other channel that I have with all the beauty products. And then this one right here is from Jewel Mint and the rest of them are from makeup companies. Oh, I'm going to do my own plug. My favorite product from my store is this clutch. I'm so in love with this clutch. Like I've been using it like all the time and you can get this on my store, but you can see it holds so much stuff in it and it's got the pretty rhinestones all over it. And I'm having a special Valentine's thing right now where you can pick up this clutch and I'm gonna give you the free Purse Buzz Bow earrings, which you can also purchase on my store, for 20 bucks. So I'm gonna give you this and the earrings just for Valentine's Day. So you guys will be my Valentine. Okay, this video is way long, so I'm gonna cut it short and I'm going to do my Valentine's Day hair tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for subscribing. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys later. Bye! Happy Valentine's! Oh no, I watched the Justin Bieber thing, and they did it like this. No, what they do? Oh my gosh. Like this. There you go. I watched that Justin Bieber show or movie, and I think that's how they were doing it. Oh, that hurts my hands. Okay, there we go. Okay, bye guys.